Okay guys, I look ridiculous today. That's because we are going to be sanding the frame on this 2007 Hilo 27T. So the T is for tip out. That means it does have a slide on a Hilo. They are a tip out. They clamp shell out. So we've got some safety gear and some needs and wants if you're going to do this job to make your life easier. Uh, first being, if you have the use of a concrete pad, it is going to be a lifesaver. Uh, you're also going to want to go to Harbor Freight. $25 when they're on sale. Get yourself a creeper. Uh, you can't really beat $25 for that creeper. That's a great deal. You're going to want a respirator. I do not recommend this one. I would recommend the full face shield style. That way you don't have to worry about safety glasses and a lot of debris getting in here. I've got one for the life of me. I can't find it. So it may be in storage in Florida. That's the problem with being a little here and a little there. It tends to make tool life difficult. The other thing, I am wearing yucky nasty clothes. Um, this is my onesie. It's a little chilly today, which is perfect. But I'm also going to have a Tyvek suit over top. Uh, you want something over top, otherwise you are going to have a mess. This is a disposable. I might have to use it a couple days in a row. And this one itself is not a Tyvek suit. This is a cheap Harbor Freight uh, propylene. I had Tyvek suits. I left them in storage. I do know where they are. Uh, unfortunately, they are in storage. And unfortunately, uh, this ended up getting eaten by, uh, it looks like, maybe some mice. So that suit... It's not going to be wearable. I'm just going to be in my onesie. So this onesie is going to be totaled after this project. There's no way you're getting all of this rust out of here. So let's get into it. Uh, the other tools you're going to use. Wire wheel. This is a paint removing disc. A flapper disc sometimes called. The wire wheel. And I've just got a selection of wire wheels. Uh, that one's obviously very aggressive. This one's a heavier aggressive one. And a pair of pliers so we can get on them and swap out while we're underneath. I also have two LED shop lights under there. But join me. We're going to get underneath. The front is not nearly as bad as the rear. Uh, when we get to the rear, it, it may take a while. Let's go, guys. Okay, a couple of tricks, too. I got a, I grabbed a brush, grabbed a couple more tools. Grabbed a hand brush, grabbed a couple of different scrapers. I've got some heavier gloves on, uh, and I've taped my sleeves. Also got my head beanie on. And all of these will help. Now when I start grinding, my head beanie is going to pull up. And kind of close around my face a little more. But we're going to be grinding, if you'll notice, this ledge. In fact, you can hear the paint. The paint is peeling off. Uh, see back here. Down here we've got, we're going to do our axles. Uh, I'm going to try to save our tags, and basically this bottom rail, this top rail, uh, these bars won't get done. This one, this is our lock bar, uh, that will get done. And that should not be jiggly right now. It's supposed to, I think, lock up. Uh, I'm not sure. There's our cable pulled to the ground. Okay, we've got uh, plastic tubing here. 
And we're going to have to be careful around the plastic tubing. We could take it loose. I don't know that we will. I may just get a wire brush in there, but I may take it loose and double check, like right there, that it's not rubbing a hole. Because that's tight. And there's a good chance that's rubbing a hole right in that hose. And there's our extra that we couldn't find. Okay, so we're going to get all of these cleaned off. This one's damaged, as you can see. I, uh, we, may take, we may take this one off and just replace it. You buy them in sets of two. Uh, if I do that, I will beef these up with the 7500. We're going to sand them up here. Uh, it's about, it. I feel like I just got wet for some odd reason. On my shoulder. Okay. Uh, we're going to get rid of our mud daubers that moved in. Lots of mud daubers in here. Clean our pump up. I'm going to be poked by this stuff. Thought it would be great having all those tools on the cart. What are you thinking that? Okay, grab and get started, guys. And, oh, we can't forget our straps. I will not remove the straps, I don't think. I could. Um, but I'll have to suspend the tanks if I do that. We'll see when we get there. We may suspend the tanks, which are empty, so it's not a big deal. Take these off and do both sides. And then put them back in. And I honestly, with the miles we're going to be going, these should have rubber where they're hitting the straps. I do have thick rubber we could put in there. That will protect the tank. Uh, we're going to just kind of do any modifications we can do while we're under here. That's the damaged area. There's really nothing we can do there. Ball peen hammer slowly heat it and reshape it. But the front frame is not too bad. It should not take me too long to prep out the front frame. Let's get started. Well, I gravitated towards the worst place first. Um, this is the worst place first. And I just like to get the worst out of the way. And that way I kind of know what tools I need to. Um, I need to get... This one's probably fine. But this one with the plastic, I need to get this loose. And here. And right there. All of these need to come loose. So get that stuff out of there. We should be good. And then I need to get this off. Because we've got a lot of rust here. We're going to have a lot of rust on the top and the bottom plate and in between. But I want to break it free here and here. Take this mount completely off. Now, I may be able to straighten this mount. I was just looking. If I can put a jack right here. I'm betting I can press this down and straighten it. Uh, that would save me buying another set right now, which I really don't want to spend the money. Uh, the rest are all good. They are, of course, rusted too, but we're going to fix that. And I'll probably just take all four off, and we will wire brush, clean those all up, repaint those, and reinstall them. And that'll be... Uh, the two-part epoxy as well, I believe, is what we'll use. As long as there's not a clearance issue. Because it is a thick, heavy, solid paint. It could cause some issues where we can't open and close the scissors. So let me get some tools, and we'll get this taken care of. Now, one of the reasons to prep is I barely touched that hose. 
I did not cut through it. Um, and it's been riding right there. You can see that? Which is not good. And it's riding right here, which is not good. <laughs> None of that seems correct. So we're going to fix all of this hose and make it correct before we put it back together and we may go ahead since this is a 2007 and this is our lift hose for our hydraulics um, we may go ahead and run a brand new line I haven't decided yet um, but it's not that expensive that way it's done we know we've got good line and no issues for years to come let me get a screwdriver and let's get screws out. Our screw gun. Our screw gun right here. Just need bits. Square bit. I have a square bit right there. Okay, so when you buy your camper, you want to buy a bunch of these square bits. Okay, square bits, they are always everywhere, always nowhere. You always can't find them, but you know right where they are. So the best thing to do is have a bunch. Make your life easier. Just going to take that hose down. Take this hose loose. screws up when you're under your camper working. You can drop all of this away. Which we're gonna do. Oh, I should have my metal tray under here guys notice I'm taking everything loose because I'm going to want to get to all of this to paint it off I am not going to drop my water tanks um, I could but I'm not going to I'm going to drop all the hoses so I can get behind the hoses. Hoses, pipes, all that sort of stuff. Um, okay. 
got this pipe. It runs the length. Now that's going to cause us some issues. We could take it apart up here. I don't know if I'm going to get it all the way to the end. Now, this pipe is rusty. We've got all our wires attached to it. I think we're going to clip all our wires loose and paint that steel pipe while we're in here. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my mask off. I'm going to get some cutters and start taking this stuff, the rest of this stuff, loose from underneath here. Just so we can get everything painted that we can possibly paint. Hey Wanderers, I'm going to end this video here. This is going to be a long series of the Hilo Rehab. I've done a complete restoration on the Hilo from, well, as you can see, the frame up. So there's a lot of hours of videos coming out for you on the Hilo as well as the Baja. And, well, I'll keep the, you know, kind of current stuff mingling in. So... Anything you see from the camper and the Baja builds and all that stuff is going to be a lot of past stuff. Um, the last couple of videos on the Baja, the mudding videos, that's all recent stuff. But the build videos you're going to see, especially on the Hilo, are going to be older videos that I'm just now getting around to editing for you wanderers. That's how busy I've been with these builds. They've taken a lot of time and uh, a lot of resources so if you want to become a wanderer you just head over to the website wanderingwilly.com grab yourself a piece of merch and uh you've just become a wanderer and you're helping me wander with the chance to win a 2003 baja adventure vehicle for christmas 2023 so Pretty good deal. I imagine by the time we get to a winner, well, the winner may have forgotten that they even entered. So that's kind of exciting too. Get in now and, you know, watch the build videos. Uh, join now. Help with the rest of the build. And hopefully we'll still end up at Christmas where you get to pick your own paint color. So thanks for joining me, guys. I uh, I love hanging out with you guys and wandering together, and I look forward to many more years of wandering.